Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video, and this one, we're in Oncely. And holy smokes, I got something cool to show you. Oncely is the answer to those of you that want AI tools, AI platforms, AI apps, but you don't want to pay the ridiculous subscription fees that everybody is charging. And these guys, they're taking it back to like 2004 when you can buy something once and have it for the rest of your life. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are on the front page. Let's take a quick look around, and then we're going to look at a few apps in detail. First thing you'll see here on the homepage is pay once, use forever. I mentioned that earlier, but it's such an important point. I'm so tired of the subscription fees. It's just crazy. So if you want to, you can just buy it and use it forever. Sweet gig. Now, here's the thing. If you want to be put in the loop for all their new deals, you can just add your email in here and click on loop me in. But let's go down a little bit. Here's where the magic happens. Trending AI lifetime deals. Again, we're on the homepage. So if you look here, you can see here all of these are clickable. If you want to try them out, you can just click on this here and it'll open up sub easy AI, accurate AI driven transcription and translation. Again, go ahead and buy it. It's only 57 bucks. I'm not a sales guy. If it's up your alley, do it. If it's not up your alley, don't do it. It doesn't matter to me, honestly. But this is how it works. Van Chat, check this one out here. If you have a Shopify store, click on that. Take a look here. Thirdly, Fork AI, Beka AI, a mix of Airtable and Zapier for AI automated CRM market on automation and project management. Mimic PC, another thing that we're going to take a quick look at. For those of you that like to create AI images, it runs Stable Diffusion. It runs the just released Flux, which is fantastic because that's only like a week old or so. It's already in there. Click on it, 49 bucks for a lifetime license. And it goes on and on. Look at all these different things here. And again, it's always being updated. So if you're one of those people that want to use AI apps, don't want to pay for a subscription, and like to be up to date with the latest, well, that's one way to do it. You can also click on Top Trending, which I've just done. This is basically the same thing, but it sort of rank orders them by popularity and by number of reviews and things like that. So there you go. And also, if you're an entrepreneur, if you created an AI app or you've got an AI platform and you want to monetize, this is a way for you to make money. It doesn't cost you money. You make money. You can put your app up on this website here and then you can go ahead and reach out to them or you can even click here, start selling. So literally, if this is your thing and you've got a deal and you want people to look at it, go ahead and do that. So just another option here. I'm going to go ahead and click back on home. And now let's do a little bit of a deep dive into a couple of these apps while I got you. All right. Now we're going to do a quick deep dive into a couple of apps. I'm going to go here and click on top trending in the menu bar. And then here they are ranked, I guess, in order of, you know, maybe in sales, maybe in reviews, number of reviews, etc. But the first one on the list is Chat Hub. And I have used Chat Hub in the past and it is fantastic. So I'm going to click on that here. And then again, you'll see a basically a purchase page. If you're ready to purchase, go ahead and purchase. If you want to take a look around, see what you get first, we can do that too. I'll just click on a couple of images. This is the one I really want to show you because this shows you what you're getting. You're getting all of the large language models on the left in a six by grid. So you can see you could put in one prompt into a large language model or LLM and get back six responses in all of these state of the art LLM. So there we go. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to go down here, and it says Meet Chat Hub. Okay, so let's click on it. Now, Chat Hub has two ways to use it. You can add it to Chrome. Now, I have a few Chrome extensions, but my preference is to launch the actual web app, but both are available. Once you do that and you've logged in, you'll see a screen like this here, and automatically you can see how this works. On the bottom left here, you can go ahead and click on these little grids here. So... Right now, it's set to GPT-4.0 or 4 Omni and Claude Sonnet 3.5. Those are the big models out there. But if you wanted to go ahead and see maybe four different models at once, you can go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Why not? So right now, we've got 4.0 Mini in the top left. I'm going to switch that by clicking that arrow, that down arrow, and clicking it to 4.0 or 4 Omni. Claude Sonnet 3.5, that's the one I want. Gemini Pro, yeah, let's take a look at that one. Uh, is there any other ones that I like here? I kind of like, well, we've got Llama 405B. So let's make this one different. Let's go ahead with Mixtral. Why not? We'll do Mixtral on the bottom left, and then we'll do Llama 405B, which is the big open source model from Meta. Anyways, bottom, bottom line is you go down here to the bottom, type in the prompt. How many Bulldogs can you fit? Oops. And I'm just having some fun here. I'll just show you how it works in a rocket ship. A nice silly question, something like that. I'll click on send. Watch this. It's given us four responses 
at the same time. This is fantastic, and this is how it works here. And you can scroll through them. This is the 4 Omni response. This is the Sonnet 3.5 response. This is the Mixtral response, and this is the Llama 405B response. It was literally that easy. Very, very cool. So that's how you use ChatHub, and for 37 bucks, yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next app. All right, so here we are. We're back on top trending. Let's look at a second app here. We looked at ChatHub just a second ago. The next one I want to show you is Mimic PC here. You'll see it right here. I just click on it, and off we go. If you know you want to use it, of course, you can go ahead and buy it. It's 49 bucks, Lifetime offer. Pretty good deal, I think. But hey, let's try it out just to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that there. And then presto, all I got to do here is just go ahead and click on free launch. And we are on our way. Now, very quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and just confirm that I am the person I say I am. I signed up with my Google uh, Gmail and it was free to sign up with. So you can basically take a look around, see what you think. So here is basically the front page of it. It is a AI image generator. But here's the thing. It's geared towards both, you know, people that want a nice, easy way to generate images and for those of you that are, you know, a little bit more technical and want to look at the models and all of the fine-tuning that goes into it. So, real quickly here on the left side, you can go ahead and add in a new app. You can go through their tutorial, so if you ever get stuck, it's easy to go ahead and figure out what to do. But for us, we're going to click on Add New App, as you do here. And then, real simple here, you've got all of these different options here. These are basically builds, so they're kind of like... Uh, pre-installs here, so if you wanted to use Auto Web 11, Auto 1111 Web UI, this is the standard one, but for those of you that are a little more technical, you might want to try Focus. <laughs> and there's all these different ones you can go through here. I'm going to go ahead and just click on Auto 111, and boom, on the right side here, we get a few options here. Now, we're going to go ahead and just continue on, uh, but if you want to go ahead and make some changes here, you can go ahead and do that, but eh, not really what I'm looking for. You get two megs. I've already used 2 megs, you get 50 gigs, and yeah, let's go ahead and click on it and get going. Opens up a new tab, and now it's just going to go ahead and sort out what it needs to do. It's going to take up to, uh, up to 2 minutes, but usually takes about 30 seconds. Once this is done, I'm going to come back, show you how to create images. It's a piece of cake. All right, welcome back. So it's gone ahead and done this setup, and look at this here. You'll see here that if you want to just get started right away, just type in your prompt here. So I'm just going to go French Bulldog reading a book, something like that, and click on generate. It's literally that easy to get started, so it's pretty damn good. It took a few seconds to sign, uh, to set up, but if you look over here on the right side, you'll see here that it has to, you know, it's basically doing a build of Auto 111. So the few extra seconds it took, not a big deal because you get so much more access to all the different things. And I'm going to show you that in a second here. So here's the very first crack at it, and this is a cartoony style. That might be what you're looking for. It might not. You have all of these different options down here at the bottom to make some changes. But what you want to do here is you look up here at the top left. It automatically selected SDXL. So this was the original um, the original model that it selected. When I click on that little down arrow, look at this here. They have access to all of these different uh, models and all of these different fine tunes. So if I wanted to go ahead and switch over to Flux 1, this is the brand new model that just came out a few days ago. It's gone ahead and processing that. We're switching over models. We can go ahead and do it again. And also, while it does that, look down here. You can see here that we can create, we can use different, uh, what are these called? I forget the word for them. Sampling method. That's the one. DPM plus two. But if you're a real, you know, fancy person and you know a lot of this stuff, you can go ahead and change them. Euler A is a really, really popular one, apparently. I haven't used that, and you can also go ahead and change up the schedule types, the number of steps, the batch counts, the size of your images. I mean, if I wanted a bigger image, like let's say I wanted 124 by 124, I could basically double the size and double the pixel density just like that, and it's a perfect square. So just different things you can do here, all of this out of the box here. The batch count is the number of images that you render at once the more images i guess it takes a little bit longer but you get multiple examples also so these are just some of the things you can do here there are so many different things try them out here i got i mean look at all these different models here what was the one that i wanted i wanted flux right i wanted flux one let's go with flux one schnell maybe that's the one i want i don't know i, I think i chose the wrong one earlier but i mean so many different things you can do here guys 
So this is Mimic PC, lots of options. Click on generate, it's easy to use and it's definitely worth a look. So there you have it, that's Onesly. You get access to all of these great AI tools at one-time pricing versus subscription pricing, which is just driving a lot of people crazy like myself there. So there you go. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Thanks for watching.